what's up guys it's zed and this is episode 15 of the fifa 22 create a club career mode with zilla fc and we are in the third season of this series and this is the home kit the new home kit what it looks like i mean it's not really you guys won't really notice it here until you see like a close-up view of the player and i don't really have that right now but i think i should be able to like get a closer view of the kit eventually but this is what it looks like it's pretty similar to the last one just that there's a design on the kit it's not like the stripes that were there before and this is the away kit it's not completely pink or white like last time it's a mixture of the both of them but the shorts are completely white with the pink stripes on the sides and then the pink socks and then the jersey is normally white with the pink design on it so is there any changes to the logo or the stadium this season all right so this is as close enough as i can get to the kits it's uh it kind of has these like checkered stripes on it but i don't know if it's only me that's seen it but i hope you guys can see it. but then that's what the home kit looks like that's the design that's on the home kit right rather all right so let's look at what we have here we have a complete backline besides how do I so it's definitely a defender is definitely the top priority for um a defender is definitely the top priority to bring into the team this time and I'm not really sure I need a sub striker I mean I do because I mean there's Edwards down there and Archie for forwards and I'm not really comfortable with them as backup for Suho, Rivera, and Zaid. I mean, Green would be a good backup for the whole front three. But, I mean, I want someone else besides Greenwood to actually be able to do something up there. But the main priority right now is for that CB position to fill in Alderweireld's role. Because, quite frankly, he's not going to be as good as the first two seasons that he was in the team. And the best option for me is Dio Upamikado from Bayern Munich. And he is 24, 73 million, around 73 million for his transfer value. And he shouldn't really be a problem. He has a huge release clause, but I'm going to be skipping that. I'm just going to delegate this offer because I really do not want to fuck up the negotiations for a big player like this. All right, so how are we doing this? His transfer offer is 73, 500. If I'm not mistaken, I'm, pro I'm, pro I'm probably getting it wrong, but oh well. And I, do not, I really do not want to go for 100 for this guy. So let's just drop it down to 95. I don't want to go over 95 for him. So let's hope that um, Bayern is able to come to terms with that deal. And well, so Foden is now 141 million. Okay. I mean, he just keeps getting better. I mean, he's going to be 90 by the time we're ready to buy him next season. And... <sighs> to be honest, I actually feel like I should have bought him since, but I just couldn't with the money that I had. Alright, so the preseason this time around is really, really tough, so I'm just going to sim past... Okay, I'm not going to do that because I have a deal with Pamekano, and I'm just going to do that here. I'm just going to sim past the matches in this area and let's just hope that we are actually able to do something we beat Atletico Madrid 2-1 Bakari and Vera score then on to the match against Pierre Monte Carlo I'm just going to do a couple of changes for this match like bringing your boy on uh I'm just going to put Suho up here and I'm going to give it okay I, <laughs> I really can't give Edward the chance against Juventus because that's just going to be a dumb thing to do. So I'm just going to... I mean, none of the uh, B-team players really can do something against Juventus. So let's see what we can do here. We, we do get the win. That's actually interesting. So I think with that, we are into the semi-final for this competition. Okay, they say that um, Upamecano negotiations have hit a roadblock. Because apparently what we offered was too low and well, we're going to have to make another offer sometime soon. 
other than that, there's been a transfer offer for both of my full backs. <coughs> Sorry, for both of my full backs. Uh, these guys want to give me Diogo Jota for Davies, and I'm actually looking to get a. I'm actually looking to get a um a forward to actually help out Greenwood with the front three, but. To be honest, it's not it's not Diego Jota, and I can't take just four million. So I'm just I mean, if it was someone else that I would have wanted from Liverpool, then I would have taken this deal. But no. Then for Bakari, they want to take one hundred and two. Uh, if I give them this offer i can probably get like another good right back maybe someone like hakimi or something but this guy has actually done really well for the team and uh to be honest i mean i think i might just sell him but not for as low as 102 so let's just start the offer at 135 here or let me just like negotiate by myself. All right, so we're starting with a transfer fee of 140 million, and let's see what Bayern would say. I realize in advance that that won't be a simple deal to put together. Okay, so they don't want 140. Let's try 130. And if they don't want to take lower than 125, then I'm I really can't sell him for less than 125 to be honest. Okay, they increased to 103. I'm going to stick with one with 130 for now and oh, let's just take it down to 128 let's see what they are going to say okay so they actually don't want to get him for any higher than that all right so Bayern wanted our right back and we wanted their center back and both deals didn't go through so this is <laughs> I mean, I'm not keeping any... Wait, where is Lewandowski? That is so weird. Maybe he's in the subs or something. Hopefully, they haven't sold him because I will actually want to buy him if there's a chance to... I mean, he shouldn't be that much expensive right now because he's over 30, right? Right? But anyway, we're able to get the win. Zaid is the one that pulled, pulled through this match. Lewandowski was actually in the match. What? He got subbed off in the... 45th minute that is weird because I swear to god I didn't see him in that lineup. Right, so the so there's a transfer offer for George Faulkner. He's our he's supposed to be our main captain, but he doesn't like playing on the first team that much. So there's an offer for him, but I really don't think I can sell him right now. I mean he's probably going to start dropping by next year, so now would probably be the best time to sell him, but I don't think I can sell him. He's probably just going to stay in the club and be coming on as a sub from time to time. Alright, so I'm just going to sim to this date. We should be done with this competition by then. We lose to PSG and I mean it was I saw it coming because it wasn't the normal team was this um same from the calendar so I actually did see that coming. Alright there's an offer for her for Alfonso Davies and they want to give me Harry Maguire. He's 30, he's 86, so he's definitely going to start dropping in time soon. He's, he's, he's still better than, um, what's his face? What's his face? What's his face? Out of while out when we got him, but to be honest, I really don't want to buy an old player. So I'm not going to, and I really don't even want to sell Davies, to be, to be honest. So I'm just going to reject that. There have been three offers for him ever since the one against Liverpool, sorry, two. And here is one crazy ass thing. Yo, they want to take 232 million for Rivera. I mean, I'm going to accept this deal, but I just want to try and get higher than this. The board says that we're supposed to like get highest of 304. So I'm just going to take this up to maybe around 260 or 260. And let's see if we can get that amount of money. We will be able to buy Phil Foden if we get go through with this deal and another striker i believe all right if we go through with 260 we're going to have 404 million in our budget and they can't actually go for as high as 260 but i'm going to drop that down to 245 
and let's just try and be optimistic here they should all right so they actually do go for the deal Rivera will be leaving the club after two seasons Zaid was the player of of the season last um, episode and I forgot to talk about that I actually have to start remembering to talk about these things at the end of every season all right so we're going to have another show at Dio Opamecano and we're also going to have a show at Phil Foden up there so I'm just going to start with this guy we're going to no, we're, no, we're not going to do this. We're going to delegate. So we're just going to start at um, 85 this time. And we're not going to go higher than 1... I, I mean, his release cost is 118. Or was it 108? I'm not sure. So I'm just going to stop this at 120. So let's just hope that we're able to get that deal. When the deal with um, Rivera goes through, then I'm going to sign Phil Ford into the team. All right, so Rivera has been sold. This is a really big deal for the club. A really, really big deal for the club. So we're just going to try and get folding right now. All right, so we're just going to offer his current value on the dot with a selling clause of 10%. And let's see what's wow. <laughs> okay, Pep wants, Pep wants 160. He wants 202. And we definitely can't do that for Phil Foden. Like, come on. I mean, I might just have to cancel this deal and just delegate to get the best possible outcome from this deal if I'm not happy with it. So I'm just going to drop this down to 170 and let's see what Pep says. We're going to take this back up to 10% and what? Okay, the, okay, they actually agreed for it. So 170 for Phil Foden. I think that was actually a lot higher than I should have been able to get him. But I mean, whatever we have Phil Foden in our team, let's just go into the negotiations for his wage. So we're going with the crucial role, five year contract left, no release clause, and then they want a £175,000 wage with a signing bonus of blah blah blah. And I'm actually quite okay with that because if you're holding, he's like my second best player in the world, so I'm going to do everything it takes to bring him to our team. And there we go, Phil Foden is officially in our team, so we're waiting on the deal for. Dio Pamikano and that should be all for this transfer window, I think. Alright, so it's time for the match against Liverpool. This shouldn't really be a problem. I mean, we have to be able to beat them. We have Zaid on the right. He's our first 90 rated player. Then Foden is also going to be entering into 90 soon. Greenwood is now the new striker for this team. No longer Rivera. Let's see how he's able to fill Rivera's shoes because Rivera was actually a really, really good player last season and the season before. We have Devo, Gravenberch, and Kamavinga in the midfield. Then Davies, Alrahal, Odwireld, and Bakari. Odwireld is 79. He's the only setback in this team right now. And we seriously just can't wait for the deal with Opamikano to go through so he can just like come to the team. And Odwireld will be like a substitute from now on. Are the players fit enough? And will they be challenging for silverware once again this year? Well, it is without question a very special day. This is his debut match. Stuart, what should we expect to see from him? Well, he can do everything a central midfield player needs to do. He can pass it, he can wriggle out of tight situations, and he can defend. Let's hope we see those qualities today. And the match begins. Let's take a look at the Liverpool starting 11. Norris Carrius is the goalkeeper. Andrew Robertson starts with Trent Alexander Arnold in the fullback positions. Diogo Jota plays with Mohamed Salah out wide. And leading the attack today is Roberto Firmino. Opportunity here. Oh, back of the net. And a debut goal to boot. It doesn't get much better than that. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. And he's beaten him here. And Roberto Firmino's in there. Well, not cleared away completely. And reading it absolutely superbly. Firmino. Salah! 
Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Jota. Really good timing stop to make sure the threat came to nothing. It's a short one. Roberto Firmino might fancy this. Well, no way through. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Can they keep it going? Great opportunity. And a goal to increase their advantage. It's a two-goal lead now. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And then what a strike. That's it with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. Alexander-Arnold. And now Henderson. Could pull one back here. Oh, a save right out of the top draw. At some point, they have to threaten the space in behind the defenders. Otherwise, they're going to lose this. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Can't sit back. Palms away by the keeper. Foden. And that pass could be troublesome. Oh, he's done it! And it's a debut double to the delight of his fans. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and... And given away. And the story now confirms Spurs have got their man, Stuart. Oh, can he finish it, Derek? Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. Can someone get on the end of this? He wasn't ruthless enough in front of goal. Keeper has it now. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's oh, Liverpool. Big shots here, Derek. Oh, good reflexes from the keeper and the danger averted. Now Correa. Excellent vision. Correa. He might be able to cost. Oh, he really bruised the crossbar. And the danger. Wonderful tackle. Oh, what an opportunity. Oh, a goal! As he makes it a hat trick. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure. Valverde. Now Correa. Federico Valverde. And full time. All right, so we have won the community shoot against Liverpool. A clean sheet to five goals. This is just the craziest, craziest win. I've ever had against the the team that won the Premier League last season. We just completely smashed them. I have no idea why we aren't lifting the trophy. Okay, okay, yeah, we are, we are. And Yebo is the one that is actually carrying this thing again because Odwire was really tired, so I had to sub him off. Anyways, I have the left-footed front three now, kind of, because Foden is going to be is going to be on the left, but then it's going to come back to the center of the of the park, like during the middle of the game where so suho can actually have play time and then yeah he got a debut hat trick that is something that not a lot of people do and this is exactly why i like him like he was just everywhere he was literally everywhere in this match and he was able to get a hat trick that was a really really good job and i'm also going to give green with the number nine shirts i think that was what i think that's what vivera was wearing so i'm going to give him that number
as the Bayern has finally accepted the offer for Pamecano for 116 million. I mean, it's almost 117, so whatever. He's going to accept this and then I'm going to delegate his weekly wages as well. He used to get 92 before. And let's just take that to 100. All right, so Pamecano has agreed for 100 for 100 million, sorry, 100,000 pounds for weekly wages. He's on a crucial squad role, squad role and a four-year contract length. No release clause, no bonus, no nothing. So I'm actually really happy with that deal. So apparently, Jado Rivera's number was actually number 10, not 9. So I've given Greenwood the number 9 jersey because no one was actually wearing it. And I'm going to be giving Foden that number 10 jersey because, well, he's like, he's suitable for a number 10 in this team because he's, he's really going to be everywhere. So our first team is actually pretty good. We have Foden on the left, Greenwood up front, Zaid on the right. Then Devo, Kamavenga and Gravenberg in the middle of the park. Then Davies. Al Rahal, Upamikano, and Bakari at the back line, then towards in goal. The only problem I have with this team right now is the um substitutes. This the bench is not really it's not really that good. So I think I'm I'm going to have to add a couple more players to the team before I end this episode. Alright, so we're able to gather a pretty good list of players. Ed Romendi will be a good substitute keeper, to be honest. And then Rhys James as well will be a good substitute right back for um Bakari and then Pierre Emil Horberg is actually also a also a good player. Then Ferran Torres and Leon Bailey. Yeah Leon Bailey is actually a good sub for that front three and also Ferran Torres as well. So I'm actually go for one of the two. Ferran Torres is younger so he's probably going to be more expensive. So I'm going to go for Leon Bailey for now and maybe I'll settle for um this guy Pierre Emil Horberg for the midfield position so right now I'm going to delegate I'm going to start a little bit lower than his um, normal price and then I'm going to not offer higher than 75 because I really do not want to offer higher than 75 then to be honest I think I'd rather have a substitute keeper than any other player on the field right now because I want to be able to put a second team out there for matches like the Carabao Cup or the FA Cup, the early stages and then small Premier League matches that I don't really need my big team, even though that wouldn't really be happening for Premier League. But yeah, I'm just going to have to get to Reece James. Sorry, um, what's his face? Edward Mendy. So I'm going to start, wait, what's his? Um, 26. All right, so I'm going to start off at 24 and I'm not going to offer higher than 30. Yeah, I really can't offer higher than 30. Alright, so the offer for Edward Mendy has come in. They actually accepted for 29800 and that should be okay in my book. So, I'm going to accept that. Then his weekly wages, let's just drop that down to 100 and that should be good for now. Alright, so it's the first match of the Premier League against Norwich City. And to be honest, I'm not going to play this match. I'm just going to sim it. And let's hope that we have start off with a good... Yeah, we... 4-2, Zaid's got a hat-trick and Devo has a goal as well. So Zaid is also up to a flying start. He wasn't able to score. Um, he wasn't able to score in the community shield. But I'm actually okay with that because he was the one that actually gave Foden the chance for that hat-trick because, I mean, he was definitely on goal. All right, so the um, offer for Bailey has broken down because it was apparently too low. And... This one for Mendy. Mendy has accepted to join the club, so he's now currently a Zilla FC squad mate. And to be honest, this deal with Leon Bailey breaking down was a complete letdown. So I'm going to be going for Callum Hudson Odoi and Demar Gray. I actually don't know what their I don't know what their what's it called ratings will be, but I I think I should be able to offer between 30 million and 50. I really hope that's not like a lot higher than I'm supposed to but I'm just going to try either way for both of them okay and Chelsea actually agreed for Hudson Odoi for 42 million meaning that I wasn't actually below par with the transfer offer I went for so I'm going to accept this and just negotiate his wages and he should be in our team in a bit all right so they want a signing bonus of 619,000 pounds a 76 thousand pound wage and i'm actually okay with that i gave him a squad rotation rule of five years and what 
okay so they actually accept so we're able to get Hotin Odoi, Edward Mendy, Dio Pamicano and Phil Foden in our team for this summer transfer window and I think we should be good for the season there's an offer for Graven Verge for 193 million pounds <laughs> And I honestly don't know why he's that expensive, but that is really, really crazy. But nope, I'm not going to be selling him anytime soon. All right, so Hudson Odoi is an 81 rating. I was actually betting on him to be over 80 and it actually worked. So we actually have a good, a fairly good bench right now. We have Edward Mendy. We have Odwyrod, Abbott, Faulkner. I mean, Abbott is the only one that is a problem. He's, yeah, he's the, only, he's the only problem with this starting and Edward as well. So maybe in the uh, winter transfer window, I can... I can get a good enough striker. This is where we're going to be ending this episode. As you can see, Rivera and Foden are the top two highest deals in this summer transfer window. And well, we're having a match against Manchester City in the next episode. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will talk to you guys in the next episode. Peace.